If music be the food of love, play on. Give me excess of it, that surfeiting the appetite may sicken and so die. That strain again, it had a dying fall. Oh, it came o'er my ear like the sweet sound that breathes upon a bank of violets, stealing and giving odour. Enough! No more! Tis not so sweet now as it was before. Oh, spirit of love, how quick and fresh art thou, that notwithstanding thy capacity, receiveth as the sea, not enters there of what validity and pitch soe'er, but falls into abatement and low price even in a minute. So full of shapes is fancy, that it alone is high fantastical. So I got to come down and deliver that, and uh, the play went on. It was a great pleasure to do the show, and it was an honor to be at the Alabama Shakespeare Festival. It's one of the most beautiful uh, stages and theaters that I've ever worked at. Um, the main stage is tall, and the, there's the balcony in the audience, and it's deep, and there's so much you can do. It's a gorgeous space, and uh, the grounds around it are beautiful, and um, the history there um, of such great work done and of company. Uh, I was just really, really honored to get to be a part of that. I first met Rick Dildine working at the Shakespeare Festival of St. Louis when he was the artistic director there, and he did such incredible things at that theater. And now he's taken over Alabama, and I think the theater community there is incredibly lucky to have him. And I'm sure he'll be working his magic there uh, as he did in St. Louis, where we met. Um, so it was a great honor and a pleasure for me to be there and for me to work with Rick and with Greta. And uh, I hope very much to get to do so again. Um, Twelfth Night was a wonderful experience and I loved, sort of surprisingly loved, getting to play Orsino. <laughs>